Ladies and gentlemen, let's now welcome contestant number one, Cara Marie Jimenez. Positive. Positive. Cara Marie Jimenez. I am a single, carefree woman with no child to worry about, and I can buy anything that I want. This is the life I would have been living if things turned out differently. If I didn't have my sweet little Sophia. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, yes. I was 19 years old when I saw those devastating two lines. Positive. The pregnancy test was showing positive. No, impossible. But the sixth test was still showing positive. What do I do now? Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would get pregnant at 19. I felt like a failure. My life is now ruined. Or so I thought. Believe it or not, that little angel inside me made me stronger, taught me what unconditional love is at an early age, made me realize how blessed I am. I am Cara Jimenez, and I am a single mom. I'm so touched when there are women who come up to me and tell me how I have touched and inspired their lives to be great. I love it when I get to give advice especially to those who are scared to face this kind of challenge. The challenge of becoming a strong, single mom. I remember the first lady that I gave advice to. Her name was Lexi. She was 15 years old. She was being hidden from her hometown, so she was living with us here in Canada. She came up to me. Manakara, what do I do now? I feel so scared. I feel so embarrassed. Is it hard? I told her, Lexi, you graduate college, you get a job, and support your child. Hey, if I can do it, so can you. You see, I consider myself very lucky because my parents immediately supported me. And so the only payback I could think of was to graduate college as soon as possible so that I could support my own child. Yes, I was walking around campus until the last term of my pregnancy. People were looking at me, whispering, talking about me, to the point that my brother heard stories about me in his school. Oh, which was in Ortigas, by the way, and my school was in Taft. I didn't know I was that popular. But that experience taught me that if you have a goal in mind, you go for it. Negative people, negative thoughts can only affect you if you let them. You go for what will make you happy. The second lady was named Eva. Eva was 21 years old. She was already engaged, but since it was a long-term engagement, they decided to have a baby before the wedding. As soon as the results came in, positive. The guy left her. She was crying to me. Ate Cara, what do I do now? He left me. Will someone still love me? I told her, Wake up! That little boy inside you will be your forever boyfriend. He will see you as the most beautiful woman on earth. 
you will be filled with so much love. Any boy, any guy, will just be a bonus. You see, my parents didn't allow me to marry the father of my daughter. Good decision. Because when my daughter turned two, I left him. I was already living for our daughter, but he was still living for himself. And I remember my father told me, Kara, you should be enough for Sophia. If any guy enters your life, he would be someone very special because he would love you and Sophie as his own. Influence by the life motto of my mother. If they can do it, so can I. I am who I am now, driven because of my daughter. Because I want her to have a mother that she could be proud of and look up to. I am freely sharing my stories with all of you. Because every child needs to have a mother that they could look up to. Yes, the young goals, young dreams, yeah, disappeared. But I have a bigger dream now. And that is to hear my daughter one day say, that's my mama. She's the smartest and strongest woman I know on this chair.